Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So somehow come up with the parametric equations to describe the path of this red line. So you've got yourself a circle of radius of radius one, and uh, and t is the angle from from here to here. So uh, so you you you, uh, you would have your straight line, and then from your straight line where it intersects with y equals two, you would go straight down. Down. You would go straight down, and then uh, and then. Where looking at this looking at this straight line here, where it intersects with the circle, which would be right here, you would move straight across. So uh, so so where this line, where the straight, where the uh, vertical line meets with the horizontal line, that's your point P. You're trying to keep track of you're trying to keep track of P. So um so 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 T is moving, T is moving from 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 here all the way to over here. So T is always increasing. And as t, so you're keeping track of that red line by uh, by increasing t. So for example, if you have another straight line, so uh, so uh, so where this straight line intersects with y equals two, which would be here, you would you would go straight down, and then uh, and then looking at this straight line here, where it intersects with the circle, which would be right here, move straight across. So that's your point here. That's your point p. You're trying to keep track of p as p is move as t is increasing. You're trying to keep track of p. So hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, so so another example. Let's say the straight line is here. So where the straight line intersects with this line, which would be right here, move straight down. And then now uh, looking at this straight line, where it intersects with the circle, which would be right here, move straight across. So so this is your point p. So last example, let's say t is somewhere over here. So where this straight line intersects with, um, with with this line here, move straight down, and then looking at the uh, straight line where it intersects with the circle, it would be right here, uh, move straight across. So this is your point P. So you, you've got to come up with the parametric equations to uh, to describe the path of, of P. So so that would be the path of, of this red line as t. Is increasing, so you're keeping track of everything in terms of t. Okay, so press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, if if you look at this, hang on. Let's say you've got this straight line here. You would move straight down. Hang on. You would move straight down, and then where it intersects with the circle, you would move straight across. So if if you want to keep track of the height, let's say if you want to track, if you want to keep track of this height in terms of t, remember. You are really trying to find out the height of this triangle. You are you are really trying to find out the uh, the height of this triangle. You, to to find the height of this triangle in terms of t, um, we would need to know we we would need to know this length here. We would need to know the hypotenuse. Well, to find the to find the hypotenuse. So 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 hang on. Let's let's start again. You're you're trying to keep track of the height in terms of x. So, so in order to find out this height here, you would need to know the hypotenuse. Well, in order for you to find the hypotenuse, you would draw a straight line here to the all, to the center of the circle, and then and then and then draw a straight line across here. So this here is your you've got another triangle here. And let me uh, let me just zoom into this diagram. So let me just zoom in. Hang on. So you're trying to keep track of this height here. So you've got yourself a, a, a right angle triangle here. In order for you to keep track of this height in terms of t, you've got to find out the hypotenuse. To find out to find out this hypotenuse, we would draw we would draw this point here to the center of a circle, and then uh, and then here you've got an isosceles triangle. Split it down here. So now now we can find this length here, and then later on we can times it by two to give us a whole to give us a whole length. Well, this angle here. Well, if from here to here is t, then this angle here must be must be pi over two minus t. So, so, so to find out this this length here, let's let's call it let's call it z say from here to here. So, uh, so, so we would need to use cos. So this is cos. So cos the angle, cos the angle. The angle here happens to be happens to be pi over two take away t. And then, uh, and then the hypotenuse here is the radius of the circle, which is one. 
So, so, so cos the angle equals z uh, equals z over over the hypotenuse, which is one. So, so this z here is simply this. So now we want we want to times z by two. That would then give us the uh, the, the, the well times this by two times this by two. That would then give us the distance from from here to here. Well, anyway, O B O B would be given by would be given by this. Okay. So now uh, now we now that we know O B now that we know this length here, we can now work out the height. We can now work out this height. Okay. So how? So we've got a we've got a triangle here. Bear with me. We've got our triangle here. We now know that we, we now know that this length here is um, is uh, is um, is two cos uh, pi over two minus t. Um, so now we want to find out. Let's let's just call this the height. Okay. Uh, so so we, we're trying to find out the height here. So that would be us using sine. So so now it's sine the angle. This time the angle is truly t, not 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 this one here. So sign the angle, which will be which will be t equals the height height divided by uh, the hypotenuse, which is uh, two cos uh, pi over two minus t. And then now to to work out the height times both sides by this, that will then give you this. That will then give you this. And uh, and this, by the way, uh, hang on. And and this, by the way, is equal to this because because this thing here is just sine of t. And and the way the way you can tell is by by looking at this. Let's say you've got a uh, you start out with a function cos of x. It looks like this. That's a cos of x. Um, I, I, what what I'm trying to do now is to show you that this is exactly the same as this. So you start out with cos of x. That that would that would then give you this diagram here. That would then give you this graph here, and then apply this transformation. So that would mean you you would flip it. You would flip it along the y-axis. So flipping along. So 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 applying this transformation would then give you this graph. And then once you and then let's let's call let's call this new graph um, g of x. Let's just give it a new name. G of g of x. And then and then now g of x apply this transformation. That will then give you this. Well, when you apply this transformation, you're really shifting the graph across by by pi over two. That will then give you this graph here. Well, this graph here is your sine. This graph here is really your sine. Your sine. Well, what I'm trying to show you here is that this thing here is actually sine of t. Okay. So 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 O B uh, is. Uh, hang on. Let, let me let me think. Let me think. Sorry. Yeah, OB is given by this, but then the height, the height is is given by this. So hang on, bear with me. So OB is uh, is given by is given by this. So once we've got OB, we can work out the height. Well, this height here is given by is given by this. So now we now we we can keep track of the height in terms of x. Uh, in terms of in terms of t, so now, hang on. So now we know the height as t moves along, but now we need to keep track of the x coordinate as as t moves along. So how? So uh, starting again, where you have a straight line, you would you would go straight down. So so now we 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 can keep track of the height. We we know the height, but we need to know the the x value. We we need to know the x coordinate of this point. So normally with our straight line, we would go straight down, and then where where it hits the uh, the circle, we would move straight across. So where where it hits a circle, uh, where it hits a circle, we would move straight across. Well, the weird thing is that the uh, the the x coordinates of this point here, uh, the x coordinates of this point here, it really boils down to you using this triangle. It really boils down to you using this triangle here. Keeping track of the of the x value, it's really it boils down to you using this triangle here. Okay, so so this triangle here, well, the height the height here is uh, is two 
and uh, and you know the angle. Therefore, you can keep out, you can keep track of the the. Uh, so so it would be tan really. So it would be tan the angle, which is t, equals two over x. So x equals two over tan the uh, the angle. So uh, so x is given by given by this. And and earlier we said y was given by this for so so this is your final answer really. I uh, get yourself a graph plotter and plot this and it will give you um it will give you uh this path here. Okay?